Hey everybody, Sean McInnes here at THQ Gamers Week where I've got Elliot Olson from THQ Phoenix here to tell us all about the new MX vs. ATV game subtitled Alive. Elliot, the whole Alive subtitle can suggest a lot of things, but in this case it seems to suggest that the game is going to have a much longer lifespan than the average um, racing game out there, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. I mean, what you're getting is basically a hub and you're going to be able to expand the game whichever direction you want to go. So it's, uh, it's going to be awesome. So talk to us about how that works. You guys are charging um, quite a bit less than the uh, standard $60 title and then you're going to continue to support it down the line with all sorts of DLC. So, you know, given that, um, a lot of people might have the concern that $40 might mean they're getting a budget game. Is, is, is that the case? No, that's not our style. Um, traditionally, if you know our games, we always pack a lot of stuff in it, and this isn't any different. Um, it's just a different way of doing it. You know, we're going to be offering everything that people expect to want to play. You know, and then even the updates with how you, you know, rider experience and everything. I mean, there's a full experience in the box, and then from there, it's just how you want to expand it and keep it going. So whether it's bike gear, tracks, you know, whatever, it's just that's how it's going to happen. Now, um, you guys mentioned a lot the idea of sort of like customizing your, your racer, the sort of RPG elements in the game. Talk to us about how that works and uh, what that means to the, uh, the, the lifespan of your, uh, your racer. Yeah, so I mean, we kind of started this project with just wanting to have a uh, press start to play. You know, and you know, the careers are challenging and they're, you know, they're just, I don't know, they get messy. We want to just get rid of all that stuff and, you know, so when you race and play in the game, it doesn't matter. You're going to get rewarded. So your rider is leveling up through an XP-based system. It's kind of like an RPG. And as you go through the game, you know you're going to be getting faster bikes, more gear, more tracks. And the cool thing about this is that you know if you go expand into other tracks, you're still going to be earning XP. You play online, you're going to get XP. You get last place, you're probably going to get some XP. So um, no matter what you're doing, you're always getting rewarded. So it's going to be really cool to see how people progress through the game and how they decide to get there. Now how about the, the core racing elements? You talked about the sort of the idea of getting physical in the game and the, the changes to the tracks. It seems like this is a very sort of intense racing experience. How, how would you describe what you guys are doing to the, to the basic riding? Yeah, so how I describe it is basically like our game is more authentic than it's ever been as far as the sport goes. And that's really important to us. And you know, in motocross, there's rub and there's race and there's takeouts. You know, we're not throwing punches and kicks or anything, but uh, you know, we wanted to fix our collision system, let people get close, let them ride people in the corners, and that's important. We tailored our tracks to take advantage of that. You know, the, the deformation is still in play, and so everything is always changing. So as you're going to be battling people to get to the front, it's going to be important. So we support that with uh, all of our updates. Elliot, sounds good. Uh, could you let us know when the game, when you plan it to be out in stores and the consoles it will be out for? Yeah, sure. So the game's going to come out this May 2011, and it's going to be on Xbox 360 and Sony PS3. Thanks a lot, Elliot. There you guys have it. MX vs. ATV Alive. Keep an eye out for more coverage.